now we've got the opening bell here on Wall Street. And in terms of co commentary from the Fed, we did just get some, of course, from the president of the New York uh, Federal Reserve Bank, uh, interviewed exclusively by Jennifer Schonberger. Um, and he talked about that, you know, the challenges that the Fed is facing right now, that the inflation has come down, but it is still above where the Fed wants it to be, and that inflation has been persistent, right? Um, that it has been stubbornly persistent. That's my word, perhaps not his, but that, you know, obviously it is still a challenge uh, for the central bank, even in the face of what we've seen from the financial system as well. He did talk about that he believes uh, we are you know, for now, we've uh, gotten the, the banking situation under, under control. So there's the mixed picture here as we open up here this morning. Uh, Brad Smith, of course, is over at the Interactive. Brad, what do we got going on this morning? Yeah, our viewers already have in the lower corner of their screen a look at the major averages here where we did indeed open up mixed. So I wanted to zoom, zoom, zoom ahead, Xenon reference there, ahead <laughs> to some of the sector activity that we're seeing here out of the gate here today. And that's where you'll get a look at this flat S&P 500 overall in aggregate. However, more advancers than decliners right now. The decliners, though, coming in the form of utilities and technology. Over the course of today's session, it's been down by about four tenths of a percent. We are, of course, just kicking off that session, though. And real estate just entering into the red. However, we are being led this morning by energy, XLE. You're seeing that up by about half a percent. Uh, and then additionally, taking a look at XLV. Yeah, I saw that higher earlier as well. Materials, that continuing to catch a bit of a bit here. That's up by about half a percent right now. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite, uh, the NASDAQ 100 at least. And as that calendar Celebrates some of the mega cap tech stocks seeing red on the day out of the gate here. Microsoft down by about 1.7%. Apple also flat, just barely to the downside by about one tenth of a percent. Fractional declines for Alphabet, Alpha Google, Google, whatever you're calling them, call them down. Amazon also lower by about 1.9%. A little bit of a bounce today. We saw Tesla move lower yesterday. Uh, here today, it's up by about 1.3% uh, to kick things off here. And we're going to dive more into some of those tech names a little bit later on. And then we'll just ride out with a look at the Dow 30. Those components here on the day, relatively mixed. We'll put that equal so you get a good view of the uh, relative, uh, almost a split. More gainers than uh, decliners there right now, Julie. Yeah, one difference from yesterday, too, is yesterday we saw bond yields going up. That's yes. not been good lately for tech stocks. Um, but today, they're not doing much of anything either. So that's something also that is not necessarily providing the stumbling block that we saw it provide in yesterday's session for big tech.